Hey guys, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best free video editing software. And this is going to be part of my best free video editing software playlist. This has kind of become a big view playlist. All the videos have like 10,000 views a piece, stuff like that. So I keep kind of just trying to find a new free video editor and uh, just putting it into this kind of um, playlist that's been going on, just kind of calling them all the best free video editing software. So today we're taking a look at DaVinci Resolve and I've got a bunch of hands-on video clips you guys can download and we're going to be working through kind of just looking at the process of creating a basic sequence that makes sense and editing it together um, in you know, DaVinci Resolve and basically just exploring how this is an amazing free video editing software that you can download in the description. So by all means, get the video editing software down below and also download the example clips that we're gonna be working through and we are gonna be checking out the best free video editing software in 2018. Ah, what's going on guys? So boom, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've never used this. This is my first time using it. I've opened it up before just to have a look what it was gonna look like, um, but I, I didn't actually start editing anything. So this is pretty much my first time using this. Um, so like I said in the intro, if you guys want to follow through this exact example with me and get yourself used to this program by downloading the free DaVinci Resolve program down below and then also downloading the clips in my example folder so you guys can create the exact same sequence that I'm going to be creating here. This is going to be a simple editing sequence. We're just going to be putting a few clips together so they make sense, then checking out the effects library here just to kind of spice some stuff up and overall see how further we can take this little sequence. But boom. To actually start importing stuff, I think you go up here to the media pool and you actually just right click and go import media. Now my media is actually located in my F drive and it's located on my TQ9 folder under example and in sequence here. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six clips that you guys can actually go ahead and download um, from the media fire link down below. But you know, I've got them in a different folder. I just imported them. I had to change the frame rate so that it is fitting to this and it has thrown them in but not in the right order. That's kind of weird. So that's obviously the first clip here. Uh, this is the second clip. That's the third clip, fourth clip, fifth clip, sixth clip. So it's done them in a weird order for some reason. Anyways, you can tell by the 2013, uh, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, um, which is actually pretty weird that it did it like that um, because that's obviously just the years. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into how we would start. So I'll first bring this first clip in um, and this is just going to be giving you guys an example of a basic video editing sequence. It's actually a little bit harder than I thought in here and I'm testing out this big new light so I can get some better lighting in my video. So I have to unzip that. It's a little bit hot. Um, but I'm going to throw this in and I'm actually just going to go ahead and um, actually just give it a play. And what I want to do is play until the point that I walk out the door and come back in because we're trying to create a nice sequence. Boom. So I'm going to start it probably when I just start to enter the door. So I'm gonna click this and drag it along until I open the door and probably just start it just before I open the door. So how do we cut? That is the next thing that we would actually need to figure out. Ugh. Not bad, I just had to, some indigestion and I actually just lost my spot. So I need to come back here, find the spot that I would need. So it's about, about here. And now we actually have to figure out how we are gonna go about cutting this. So I could actually right click this and just click cut, but that would delete everything. So I'm gonna undo that I told you guys, this is, this is the first time I've actually used this. So how would we do this? Maybe we would click this, this, what's this tool right here? So this looks like our tools. So T is trim mode. Okay, so if we press T, we could, uh, we could actually trim this down. So what we could do is actually go over here and just drag this over to the point that it actually, we want it to start at. Boom, so all I have to do is drag that over. I'm having a look here if there's a, the, okay, so that is a razor tool as well. So if I quickly press uh, Control Z, undo that. Um, this is literally my first time using this, just like it will be for you guys, so I'm learning. I'm gonna scroll back to where I was, uh, scroll back to where I just come through the door, so just before that handle goes, and it is B. The shortcut is B to get the razor tool. So if we're here, we can press B, and it jumps to that tool. We can click right there and uh, press, what is this, uh, A, okay, A to get the other selection, click this uh, here and delete it, and it will actually jump us here. So now if we give it a play, this door just opens and I walk in, I'm gonna look to one side, look to the other and start walking this way. Now, what is our second clip? That is the most important bit is if we actually go to our next clip and click it so we can get it up here in the preview window. We double click it to get it in the preview window. We could give it a play right now to see how we're gonna line it up because obviously we're trying to create a sequence that makes sense. All of these are different clips. So 
Once I come in here and shut the door, I look around. Now let's see what I do when I come in here. So here, I open the door. So what we could actually do is even bring that in. Just bring that above. And just go ahead and give this a play. And actually just press B, cut it here, cut it here, and actually just line this up so that, hold tight, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep bringing this over. Oh, I'm gonna delete that one here. And actually just scrub along to the second clip to, to where I would actually shut it, okay? And actually cut that again, boom, cut that down, bring that here and see if this is gonna match up. Okay, so that doesn't, doesn't really match up because Okay, here, here it might match up. Boom, cut that down, give it a play. Okay, let's have it, give it a play. Is that gonna match up? No, it's not. Or we need to bring it along a little bit. Maybe here, so. Okay. Boom, and I would probably cut it there again. And now I would probably just drag that off to the side because we are going to need that again in a sec. But I'm just starting to create a basic sequence. So I walk through the door and then I shut the door. So that kind of adds up. And then it looks like I walk over here. Um, and when I'm about to sit down, this is when we bring this second clip in again. And actually just go ahead and shop it there. Bring that here, put it back here. And uh, just see if we can throw that one. In there so if I just throw that down there that chops it into two I could then oh hold on let me, let me, uh, let me come here bring that across so that's just one this is pretty tweaky for sure we're gonna shut that there and then it's gonna cut back to me here look it around and it looks like I'm gonna look around and then walk back over here and sit down here cool then I'm gonna look to the left or the right, left or right, whichever one that is. So I'm actually gonna cut that before. Maybe cut that right, right halfway, halfway through the turn because that's where my next clip is actually gonna go ahead and come in. So I'm gonna drag that down so it's still part of the same layer. And I'm actually gonna bring in my 2015, uh, my MAH 2015 clip. Bring that here, drag along and just have a look where so I've just sat down, and now I wanna start where I just start looking to the left, okay? So I'm just cutting through this stuff here, cutting through, cutting through. Scroll back up here so we can see all these clips, or scroll down actually here. Bring this guy down here, and actually, I wanna just zoom out a little bit so I can see a little bit more of, of what I'm dealing with here, and give this just a play here. So let's give this a play, so I sit down, and then I look either way, cool. Okay, so now we're gonna just keep it playing. And then I get up, so we'll cut it there. Definitely wanna cut it there once I've gotten up. So, so far, if we give this a play, we are piecing together this sequence. And you can already start to see, I walk through the door, it obviously shuts right there. I then look around, I then walk to the side over here, sit down in the chair, it cuts to me here. And I'm looking either, either side, I'm looking up. And then I get up out of the chair, boom. And uh, I'm actually just gonna press Control S just to save that real quick. And we're on 20 here, so we could actually bring this 2016 one here now. And actually just scroll across and find where I actually would, would begin to get up. Or even, yeah, screw it. I'm, I'm gonna leave it like that. Find where I would actually get up. So it looks like here is where I would actually get up. So let's, we'll have a look just so it looks like I've just kind of get gone up, so let's play this. Boom, that actually worked perfect. So I, it looks like I get up here, and then I get up here, and then I'm actually just gonna cut that as soon as I walk past the camera here. Boom, so I'm gonna press B again, go ahead and cut that. Um, boom, and then just bring in my 2017 clip. Um, give this a play. And see if I can bring me on just as I'm about to come into camera. So we'll see if this makes sense. Okay, so it doesn't make too much sense. I'm just gonna cut it a little bit in. Oh, uh, cut it a little bit in. So I walk past this and then I come over here, pull out the chair, sit in the chair, 
come up closer. Okay, and here, right, right when I'm about, about to touch my keyboard and mouse, we're gonna cut it right there again, chop that, and throw the final clip in, which is this clip here. And we're gonna scroll along until my hands actually, oh, I think I messed up once. Yep, I wanted to redo that. So we go just here until my hands are about, oh, until my hands are about to touch this. So probably about here, press that, cut it down, and give it a play now. Look at that. And now we can shop it there at the end. And we actually have a minute long sequence that just hit a minute. Oh wow, it's a minute and 30 seconds actually, is it? No, oh my bad, my bad. This is pretty weird here. It's only, it's only 30 seconds I think. Okay, my bad. This, uh, this DaVinci Resolve has a little bit of some weird tendencies to put that at one minute there for some reason. Anyways, is there actually a playback option, for example, like a pre-render or something like that? I'm not entirely sure there is, but actually what we can do right now, guys, is simply just go ahead and give this a full playthrough and have a look at the basic sequence we've just created that I basically walk into the room, shut the door, have a look around, walk over to my chair, sit down, have a look around the room, look up, <laughs> just basically look around, and then I get up out of the chair and walk over to my desk. This is all shot of my office. Go ahead and pull out the chair. I'm gonna sit down into the chair, pull myself in, and actually just take my keyboard and my mouse and start using stuff. Now that is us editing together a basic sequence together. Um, overall, by all means, you can open up the effects library and just start bringing in some stuff. For example, we could throw a couple transitions in between some stuff, right? So there we go, there's a transition. Um, we could uh, we, 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 we could put like a, uh, I'm trying to think of some stuff that's not gonna be too cheesy. Um, I'm just gonna put some, some dissolves in between, right? So we could just throw a couple dissolves. Boom, that's gonna dissolve right there. Dissolve into the next clip here. Let's have a look at what, what this band wipe here is gonna look like. Okay, that's pretty bad. Some of those dissolves as well. I'd imagine most of the video and audio transitions are gonna be pretty basic. We could bring in some text, for example. So we could go ahead and actually throw in this text here and uh, actually just go ahead and click it, double click it, and it'll pop up with the effect controls here. We could actually just type in uh, basic sequence um, and then we could actually get the font uh, where's where's the font G? I'm gonna press G and try find Gotham. <laughs> ah, I'm getting a I'm getting a blot nose, but boom, bring Gotham into there. We can actually just have that like that maybe. Um, and actually, just go ahead and have that once I open the door. So I open the door. It's gonna say basic sequence. I'm just gonna chop out. Boom, basic sequence. And even what we could do here is actually just go ahead and put an additional dissolve onto the basic sequence text coming in. That could be pretty nice. Yep, we've got a basic sequence text, and then it's gonna shut, and then it's gonna continue to play our basic sequence. But if you guys have downloaded DaVinci Resolve, and then also downloaded these example clips with me, we have created a basic sequence together that's very cool, definitely gets the basics of this program out the way, for example, um, you know what I mean, how to actually get to your razor tool, how to actually chop down a sequence so that you're getting all the footage that you wouldn't want in there and only highlighting the few 30 second kind of moments of, uh, of, of the best bits essentially that are within this particular project. And overall, if you guys have followed through with me, we have created this identical sequence together, which, oh, is actually an all right sequence. It didn't take me too long to film these clips. Didn't take us too long to now edit everything together. Overall, um, DaVinci Resolve is definitely a very, very cool free video editing software that is available to you. It obviously doesn't tackle some of the craziest um, really advanced editing methods such as you know After Effects tackles a lot of that stuff and, and Premiere even to a certain extent has a lot of advanced video editing stuff. I don't believe this is as uh, intricate, however, it's definitely a free video editing software that you're able to create simple basic sequences like this 100% um, and definitely stuff even more advanced than this. This was a pretty basic video to say the least, but thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I hope to see you in some more video production themed videos just like this. Thanks for watching. I'm a Jack. Have a nice day and goodbye.